motion recognition spy tech. It's China's newest mass surveillance craze. But there's a big problem. Welcome back to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Forget facial recognition, eye tracking, and crowd analysis. China's hottest new surveillance craze is emotion recognition. Emotion recognition, the thing all my ex-girlfriends wish I had. Here's how the computerized version works. The idea is that software algorithms can tell how you're feeling by analyzing real-time video of your face. For a long time, China's internal security has used facial recognition software that analyzes your facial dimensions, hair color, and skin color. And they've discovered that most crimes in China are committed by people with black hair. Arrest all the party officials. You'll have to wait till after the revolution. But soon, China's 200 million surveillance cameras could start recording and analyzing people's emotions to figure out if they're likely to commit a crime. If the system spots certain indicators, say you've had a bad day and you're scowling on your way home from the office, up goes a red flag and a possible police interception. The trouble is, experts say emotion recognition technology is actually pretty bogus. This recent study found that while facial expression recognition systems are up to 97% accurate in the lab, that accuracy rate drops to around 50% in the real world. But never mind that it's only right half the time. The Communist Party has no qualms about arresting innocent people. And the party has already begun experimenting with emotion recognition to target China's most vulnerable population. A Financial Times reporter went to a spy tech expo in Shenzhen. She tweeted that a policing expert and party cadre from Xinjiang's Public Security Bureau told her they're already using emotion recognition to target people there. Xinjiang is in western China. It's the testing ground for the latest in spy tech. That's where the Communist Party is putting people in concentration camps. The Chinese Communist Party is detaining and abusing more than one million Uyghur Muslims in internment camps in Xinjiang, the western region of China. The pages of George Orwell's 1984 are coming to life there. It's 1984 with 2019 technology. But experts say it's still in its early days. More testing needs to be done before emotion recognition technology is adopted widely across China. But in Xinjiang, better safe than sorry. If you're having a bad day, smile, because anything less can get you into a lot of trouble. So what do you think about China's security using emotion recognition to target its citizens? Leave your comments below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.